Okay, go ahead then. Say it. I don't give a yeah, I think that like we all recorded it. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you truly feel like really f shit like that is happening, uh, and you and you want to go like I'm about to burn the fucking world down, then you'd like start leaking recordings. The victim in question was scared. There was a difference. Do you understand? The, no. the opportunity of Melina, the opportunity of Melina yeah. and you to go at each other. There aren't other factors in play. That's between you and Melina. There isn't a, <laughs> another party involved mm -hmm. that is threatening one or one of you to stay silent. Whoa! Yeah, so hold, on, hold, on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right, he's right, he's right. right. He's right. No, right. So no. He's hold right. on, hold on. This you, is- You, you, know, said, you don't, don't think know anything enough. wrong. You You're don't know cringe. enough to make that statement and you fucking know it. I agree. You want to do this? I'll bet both of you, okay? $10,000 each, if you want to do this, okay? What's going on? Well, what's up? Oh, nothing. Oh, it's nice of you to call me instantly. Wow, look, he cares. Fuggers. Well, I don't know if you guys, because everybody's suicidal right now over some crazy shit. So, Jesus. Wait, wait, who the is What about what? I don't know. Everybody, there's some crazy shit going on, dude. If you kill yourself, your whole offline chat's going to blame me and stop watching me. I got to protect my bag, okay? How are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm feeling good, man. I, just, I was just sleeping. I was watching some movies and shit. Oh, yeah? How's your, uh, would you actually sleep well last night? Uh, nah. Oh, well. I told you, I'm not like joking at My sleep problems were really bad. Do you ever, do you talk about your sleep shit with stream? Um, a little bit, but it's not like it matters that much. Like it's not like I do like much just to change it. It's just gonna, it's just gonna bad. Damn. No, nah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, I do. Sometimes I'm like literally injured. So it's like, I gotta, I gotta tell them like what happened, you know, kind of thing. What is like the worst you've hurt yourself while sleeping? Uh, I think the... The worst event was I woke up in panic and then I started um, ramming down furniture and then because I wanted to get out of the room and I wasn't familiar with the place enough at the time and then I fucking charged the door and I fucking I blew it up and I charged the other door to get out of the house and then um, I, I cut my eye and my arms and my legs and I need to get stitches on my eye. Jesus. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Did you uh, look somebody up yet to go and actually see somebody for this? Or are you just going to keep doing this until you yeah. kill yourself? Yeah, no, I've, I've talked to um, sleep doctors and shit like that. Uh, uh, the first round of people didn't really know what the fuck was doing it. But I think I'm going to go more in depth on it. But with some other people, it takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bad. Um... So how how is it? What is your actual? Give me a condensed take about yesterday. So it's fa like a fast thing. <laughs> Which part do you want? Oh, like for your conversation with Hassan? I mean, all of it to be honest. Um. Okay, I'll focus first on your conversation with Hassan. Okay. So. Yeah. Something that Hassan does really really well is he'll pick one point to defend and he'll try to work around that as much as possible. Um, and he's like very story driven. So he's got like a whole narrative that he'll tell around a particular thing. If you're going to fight about a particular thing, you need to have your examples and then you need to have your story around those examples. It's very, very, very important to have those and to stick to those and to not let yourself be moved off of those. When he's able to take control of the conversation, he's very easily able to kind of like steer everything in the way that he needs to, to make you look bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, like okay. the, you're you're you were willing to let him kind of like take the reins and lead you around in that convo a lot, and the more that he does that, the more you're just, you're yeah, he's gonna make you look. Uh, yeah. Because he's not he's fickle. not gonna. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no it gets fickle because um, anytime he loses a point, he'll like seamlessly like move away from and then he goes to another one. And yeah, but something that, back over and over again is so yeah tough. something that you have to do. This is hard. You're getting into like now we're like an actual like debate territory for tactics or whatever. You have to force a concession before you let them move on to the next point. It might seem stupid or pointless, or you might feel like you've won, but you need to tell them like, hey, um, before we move on to this, you admit this does sound bad, right? You admit that you were minimizing, right? You do admit that, right? You have to get them to say like, yeah, okay, I do, before they move on. Because something that people will do um, if you let them, and Hassan is really good at this, is they can lose a point but it doesn't feel like they've lost because they'll move on to the next point without ever actually giving you a concession. And then you're fucked. 
Oh, yeah, because you're the one doing the talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, like, you might argue with the dude who's like, I think the Earth is flat um, because like water always finds its level and you can't even see the curvature of the Earth from space and blah, blah, blah. And you might get into an argument like, okay, well, hold on. What about like if you go really high up and you point a thing, you can see the curvature. And they'd be like, okay, yeah, but like let's think about like how does gravity work, blah, blah, blah. Like, they'll just say like, yeah, and. And then they'll move on to the next point. And when the person is listening to the debate, it doesn't actually feel like you've made any ground. It doesn't feel like you've won a point at all because they've just like, yeah, and you've, they've moved on to the next thing and you don't get a concession. So that's like one thing I would say. If you're having a conversation with somebody, that's why I kept, <laughs> that's why I was spamming you make him watch the clip again because he knew that clip made him sound bad. Notice as soon as he played it, he paused it like twice to give an explanation for things. And then he never wanted to play it again. Um, you need to, uh, yeah, you, you have to like, force a concession out of somebody before moving forward. Otherwise, in the in the eyes of the viewers, it always just looks like you're losing over and over again. Lucky, okay, that makes sense. Um, if Sneaker wants to chat, uh, uh, tell him to DM me on uh, Discord. We can chat with him. Oh, so it's kind of hard. He, he doesn't, um, like, he'll go into like a long, long rant or whatever, mm -hmm. right? And he doesn't, doesn't let me talk. And then, um, like he'll even go from the topic to another yeah. in that one rant, and it's like, well, we didn't even get to talk about the first one. I kept having to reel in back, and it's like, um, at one point, everybody said it was like, oh, dude, um, it was the end of like that. I sound psychotic, whatever the f right? Because I wasn't willing to like let go of the point of the initial point. That's all the thing that's well. Only that that's time. not why you sounded psychotic. I think it's because it felt like we were moving through so much. The way that you win against an opponent that wants to be like very heavily narrative driven and wants to dance away from things is you just have to very calmly stay to one point with one example and force a concession. That's why I kept spamming at you, make him watch the clip again. Let's watch this. Tell me, did it sound like you were minimizing? You were minimizing. That's my point. And then move on to the next thing. Um, you'll take a lot of uh, wind out of their sails if you can force one of those concessions. It won't let them move so authoritatively onto the next point. But if you don't force those concessions and you're just kind of like screaming and shutting around, remember, if you're following Hassan in a conversation, he's not that dumb, as much as I call him stupid. He's not really that stupid. He's not going to lead you to an area where you're going to do good. <laughs> if he's pulling you to an area in a conversation, it's going to be an area that he knows he's got an argument for. So if you, as long as you let him take the reins, you're just going to move from L to L to L to L to L. And that's it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, was I right in the thinking that if Adriana didn't tweet under train, then he would have closed out of Twitter or went to the next topic and people would have still had doubt and that would have been the only thing that mattered? Um, if I'm coming back, if you want me to evaluate from like a third party, like moral, like who was in the actual right, you both had points. The reality was, was Hassan and Pokey were minimizing a bit. This is why, because Pokey's actually smart. The smartest thing Hassan did was he shut the fuck up when she was talking uh, because holy f She's very good at navigating these conversations. Um, the thing is, is that they definitely downplayed it a bit when they were saying things like, oh, it kind of looks like they're just like looking to throw whatever they can at the wall to see what sticks. That's downplaying, of course. Um, but there's also a fair criticism that like it was a little opportunistic for you and Train to drag that out when somebody was attacking the Gamba stuff because it made it sound like that was kind of like a defense of the gambling shit. Well, you think we're doing bad things? Well, what about this bad thing? And then you wheel yeah. that out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the only argument against, I had against that, right, mm -hmm. is that you know you can cover up small stuff or medium stuff, right? It seemed like a, how can you make the argument that, that, that you're trying to cover up the game? So it's it's so it's already mainstream. Like, yeah, like, you, can you can make that argument if you want. You can make that argument if you want, but that's a totally separate argument. That's a completely different conversation. Oh, okay. Not necessarily wrong, but like. Anytime it feels like you're going for a whole topic change like that, it feels like you've conceded every single part of the past conversation. So you wouldn't want to do okay. that. Um, I'm more comfortable saying this on your stream. Okay. Uh, mine. You know it's going to get clipped if it's crazy, but okay. Yeah, but no, that's yeah. <laughs> sure. No, just because it's not, not as much size. Oh, f*** you, but okay. Well, no, because that, it's... That, no, I know, I'm just fucking with you. Go ahead, go ahead. Here's all the spotlight that was gone. That's what it is. Uh-huh. Is that... We're under the, the, the consensus that the system against your story was already big, um, right, initially. And a lot of these things were public, but never did anything, mm -hmm. right? You know, a lot of these info was public and was, was deming it up. Nothing was done. And to me, that was an example of how strong the system was against it, against it right? Well, and you got to be careful because what I would well, argue is I would say that everything was public and everything or i would say everything that was public was handled appropriately the problem okay. was there was stuff that wasn't public 
that wasn't handled appropriately, arguably, right? But nobody knew anything about like people helping her write DMs. Nobody knew that um, he'd done anything other than like checked her, checked in on her while she was sleeping. Like those were details that were um, heretofore unknown to, to anybody except for the few people involved, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so then, so then, initially, initially, uh, when when Tree was greenlighted, was greenlighted for the whole thing, right? Um, it felt like the spotlight in this current sphere was so big, right? That if if you went in the right way, right, mm -hmm. things would actually go through for once. That was kind of the vibe with it. Right? Well, no. Okay, go ahead and say it. I don't give. Yeah, I think that like, if somebody would have come out with the information that Adri had, it would have blown up on its own because it was it wasn't like. Because the implication or the insinuation is that people had tried to bring it to light before, but nobody was listening. But that's not true. There was new information that had never been brought to light before, right? I think I that's. Wait, I don't even think I agree with you. Did not see what she leaked, uh, 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 what she showed. Eighty percent of her stream was all things that were public and vods and, and clips of things. Yeah, but vods and clips are different than like putting everything in one area. This is why I do manifestos, right? Vods and clips of shit is not enough. You need to collect it in one area and have like a formal statement made. Otherwise, you know, okay. not yeah. everybody's gonna see everything. You know, stuff gets messed, right? Okay. Yeah. Does um um try and stop me from talking today because mm -hmm. anyone wouldn't, wouldn't want to get things mixed up mm -hmm. or things that get too heavy. Yeah. But they were still trying to make train delete tweets. Delete and tweets. Yeah, initially when things were when we went on to that Discord call. Yeah. And they were still fresh. Mm -hmm. I was only there to to, to be a trainer because I knew there was gonna be a lot of OTK mm -hmm. in that call. It was all gonna get against strength type of shit. Yeah. And a lot of it was still trying to cover up, trying to make him delete shit, trying to be apologist, trying to make some oh guys like we're gonna we're gonna lose slicker like what, what about have you ever lost a friend? Mm -hmm. Have you ever lost a, a, a somebody you're close to? Mm -hmm. And I was like oh my god like bro like. Like, there's a problem at hand right now. Like, stop talking about your... Who cares? So, if you, for stuff like this, um, <laughs> I told everybody this. I told Adri this a few days ago, dude. If you're going to have conversations like that, obviously, I guess, or maybe, I don't know, figure your own shit out. But, like, I always record shit like that. Um, if oh, you, was, yeah, we all recorded it. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you truly feel like really f shit like that is happening, uh, and you and you want to go, like, I'm about to burn the fucking world down, then you'd, like, start leaking recordings. Um, if, that's, if that's the road you want to take... But I don't know how much that influences I'll everything. I only that's record good. to protect train. That was my that's sure. the thing. That... Sure. Yeah, but that's like um, that's um. I mean, that's again. Those are kind of like separate things. Or what? 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 How does that relate to what we're talking now? In terms of oh, like, okay. oh, like you just you felt like there was still kind of like a, oh Jesus Christ, this is about to get dramatic. <laughs> Hold on, train one second. <laughs> uh oh. One sec. Saying this. <laughs> what? Does this train hate me for saying this or what? Oh, I don't know. You just keep one cent. I'm just letting him in. You spam it. Caps have it. Not that much. Yeah, we're just chatting. Yo. Hi. Okay, hold on. Just to be clear, I haven't declared a side. We're just chatting, going over strategy, everything that happened. Yeah, but okay, go ahead. Piss. I, I just heard this was going on, and um, so there's no bullshit, you know, spread. I, I wanted to be here, but let me take a piss real quick. You guys continue, and I'll be listening on my wireless headphones. Okay. Knock us out. Actually, first, let me put the wood in the uh, metal ore into the uh, furnace. Okay, base, dude. Smelt piss. that iron, yeah. But what? Motherfucker. What? Where's my fucking where's my recording at? It was five hours oh, long. Chill, hold on. Don't we're, don't we're not playing anything right now. Don't do that. Chill for a sec. Oh, no. I'm making sure. Because then, my recording sucks because I got into a drama call at one point. I got to call my phone. Mm -hmm. I had to deal with shit. And it got really heavy. I forgot I was unmuted. So then... This was happening, and I was unmuted with my fucking phone on speakerphone in front of the microphone, and and it was just it was just getting weird. Like it just kept getting weirder and weirder. Okay. <laughs> nice. Jesus. So, okay, stop yeah. fucking eating chips and drinking soda. Okay, when you wake up, you need to. I'm eating gum. A uh, hubba bubba. <laughs> okay. Just give me like, one second. Do you like hubba bubba or not? Not for breakfast. I bought a sour candy from the store. Um, I made this guy pick up fifty different items in a like exotic, 
candy store. You know these things that have like a lot of like old old candy that's like very hard to find. They have all mm-hmm. of it, and I made him go find like fifty different items at that store or some shit. So I tipped him like max, like tipped like a hundred bucks. Okay. Fucking... And now my teeth are hurting. My my mouth is like starting to degrade. Do you brush your teeth? Do you go to the dentist? I brush my teeth. Yeah. When was the last time you've been to a dentist? A couple of years. Okay, you should go and get like checked up. Like even if just for like mm. cleanings or whatever, it's always good. I'm taking a piss. Give me one sec. You're fine, dude. You keep piss away. <laughs> my um, you don't my need dentist says I have I have very strong teeth. And I have good genetics. I got lucky. Sure, but it's it's always good to go. Teeth problems can yeah. manifest into other problems as well, which is why it's always good to get teeth problems like fixed. Yeah, you also told me that most cavities are um, it's not because you don't brush, it's because you have you have, you have bad teeth, just bad genetics, bad spawn. Probably. And you're gonna you're gonna get them anyway. Maybe, but there's also other things like gingivitis and like just having bacteria in your mouth all the time that's like fucked and like tartar buildup and shit is probably not good. Um, just, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway yeah. so uh, 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 let's say I, I click recording. What does it go? It says, stop recording. It says, save the user Felix videos. Okay. What were we yesterday? What, what? You said it was the, tw- the 19th, right? Yesterday would have been the 20th, I believe. This call's only two hours long. I think it might have, it might have jammed. <clears throat> Maybe. But if it was jamming, you shouldn't say that, because now if anybody's listening and plotting against you, they know you don't have the last three hours of that call, so don't ever say that. <laughs> okay, well, now you're, you see, you're so low IQ, you didn't see that it was a 5 IQ. Five, nine, oh, nine, now nine, you're nine. actually baiting. Okay, true. Okay, right. Okay. Fuck, man. Why do I have everybody wants to call me right now? <laughs> okay, what is the um? That's what? I was on. I was on the call. I was talking about. Oh no no! Uh, I'm asking like, what is your um? What is like your? What is your goal? Or what do you um? I I, yeah. I I think I don't have any goals. I mean, if the person if the person that uh, with their story is happy, mm-hmm. I talked to her yesterday. She seems happy. I, I'm I'm fine. I'm not trying to win anything. Like I said, like I said, like I said, mm-hmm. like I said, people 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 can say uh, they believe me or not. Don't believe me, okay? I want to stay away from that bomb as long as possible. I I think I I, I didn't I didn't want any part of it, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, I one day I was playing with Train and he was like, oh he's, she's so evil. He was trading leaks like. But people say like it's like it's like a neg- negative thing. We're just trying stories because we had a lot of them in our minds, right? About our experience uh, uh, being an awesome number, right? Mm-hmm. So we're just trading leaks, and I send some shit that only I know or whatever, right? So to just to get it off my mind. And he said, "Oh, dude, I know this thing. Um, you, you don't want to know." I was like, "Yeah, I want to know." And then he told me, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I didn't want to know." <laughs> and then, and then, and then, I just thought, and then I see these people like. You know, it's just it's just weird. Like, uh, so I I just people say, yeah, but you still can you to collab with them? No, I did not. I haven't talked to these guys in forever. Mm-hmm. I haven't. And then and then so of course of course I was happy that there was some sort of uh, not justice. I don't want to sound too just or righteous. I don't give a fuck. That that finally it was gonna it was gonna get out. So I could fucking say, oh man, this is out now. I don't have to fucking mm-hmm. keep you toe around anymore. Or, like watch what I say. Or whatever. It's just like why am I not allowed? Am I, am I not allowed to be happy when when this shit happens? I'm not, I'm, no, you can, understand. but it but like, I'm gonna say on the other side, you can understand how it feels a bit opportunistic, right? Oh yeah, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure, you might not care, but like that's gonna be a thing that people are gonna. Oh, make me look bad. Well, it'll make everything look kind of weird, right? Oh okay. Because mm-hmm. if 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 you if you obtain justice, if you did it the right way at the right time with the right person doing something the right thing, it has to be, it has to be all perfect. Otherwise, you have, yeah, you're gonna no you're stop. Scrutiny. It doesn't have to be all perfect. Okay, I'm just saying me. that sometimes, like a certain set of circumstances, can cast doubt on a certain thing that's brought to light that makes people wonder if there's an ulterior motive, and then it can make people Watch not. Watch out, think. guys! An opportunist in this, in in, in Listen, the world of Twitch. Oh on, my god! On. I can't. I've never seen it before, guys. An hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! What? Listen, uh oh, that argument is the stupidest argument I've heard in my life, and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. Okay. If there is a truth, that is a truth that isn't changed whether the fact that the person that is saying the truth uh, 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 has a reason or a motive, if that truth doesn't change because of that fact, if they're unrelated things, it doesn't affect the truth. Do you understand me? 
The when problem the isn't comes, no one. Just saying the timing. Hold, no, 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 no. Hold does, on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold there, on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. No hold on. Epistemic conversation, okay? No one is talking about the truth, okay? In terms of like absolute fact of the matter in the world. That doesn't matter, right? What we're talking about is making people aware of the truth, or we're talking about the perception of the truth, or we're talking about revealing the truth. These are fundamentally different things. So you're right when you say the truth, it doesn't matter when it's revealed, but. The perception of the truth absolutely matters. And when we're talking about other people, we're really only talking about other people's perceptions, right? When we're talking about the truth, what really matters is what other people think is the truth, right? If everybody in a room thinks that you f a dog, it doesn't really well, matter if you f a dog or not. Everybody's going to call you a dog, world. right? What a corrupt, stupid world then. That's not a corrupt world. That's, the, that's a fact. That's just the fact of the matter. Human beings can't observe every single event. We have to rely secondhand on other people's testimony. If we don't believe them, we're not going to believe the thing happened. Yeah, well, I, I, I think anything, he, anything going on between everybody else, right? Fine, whatever. I don't give a fuck. You understand? But the way it went down with Adriana and I, it wasn't the the wording of opportunistic is out of context. Was it opportunistic? Not in the way that it's being presented by the crowds that are trying to dismiss blame on certain individuals. Was it opportunistic in the way where it was the maximum and best and only way that the truth would be heard? Yes. Do you understand? Well, I, I, is, no, no, it's not about me. Stop. Okay, hold on. Wait. He doesn't agree. He doesn't agree with Yeah, that, stop asking me. Hold on. Wait. Stop asking me, do I understand? I understand all perspectives. I'm, now I'm asking you to understand. If I got okay. into a huge fight with Molina, and let's say that it came yes. out that like, Let's say that it comes out that I stole a hundred thousand dollars from Melina. She's streaming the whole time. I'm like, oh, I'll stay. I'll have it in my bank account if you want. Like, oh, and then yeah. and then it comes out huge drama comes out a year, and she reveals Steven stole all this money from me or whatever. And then I'm like, um, and I'm like, uh, no, I didn't. Um, I didn't steal anything. Fuck you. And then she releases undeniable proof. She's like, boom, there's the proof. And then I say, Melina raped me. Whether or not that statement is true or false, everybody's gonna look at that, and it's like. Well, did she really? Or is this like a thing that you're throwing up now to deflect from her accusations? The fact yeah, of the matter a, is not relevant. What, what people are going to look at is a circumstance in which you can say there's a difference. All I'm, I, let I'm, me explain my difference before you say okay. you're dismissing the difference because you're arguing. I can say there's a difference, but in reality, there is not. And you're saying that your uh, viewpoint is the correct viewpoint. There's no other option for other viewpoint. There is. No, there's the lots of viewpoints, but your viewpoint the, doesn't the matter, Train. That's what does. I'm trying to No, it doesn't. My it, viewpoint matters because the victim in question was scared. There was a difference. Do you understand? The, no. the opportunity of Melina, the opportunity of Melina yeah. and you to go at each other, there aren't other factors in play. That's between you and Melina. There isn't a, <laughs> another party involved mm -hmm. that is threatening one or one of you to stay silent. Do you understand? Sure. Yeah. What I'm telling what I'm, was, what I'm the reason party, why wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish, please. Okay. If there was another party keeping you silent and the only opportunity where this would be heard and looked at because the other party that's involved is powerful and large, do you understand? Then then your situation would be a correct equivalent to the situation right now but there isn't that third party in your example and that's why your example is a false equivalence it's hold on just because an example doesn't one-to-one -to -one map on doesn't make it a false equivalence what i'm saying it's, is that when an accusation there, there is not a third party that's powerful what keeping the silence first of all nobody is keeping adriana silence okay if if you wanted to come out with yeah. an accusation you can do that at any point in time you don't need no Train, you know train, the politics train, of stop, Twitch. Train. Don't play stupid, Destiny. Hold on, don't, hold on, please stop. This is my area, okay? And I know what I'm saying is it's right. And you know area. The it politics is, stop. Hold on. These guys protect train. each other. You know it how doesn't it matter is. if they protect each other. If you and oh, Adri man. come out with that, hold on, train. You're dead wrong. If you and Adri were to come out with a story like that, and you vet it from start to finish, she does the twit longer, you retweet it, and you support her, it's not like people are just going to not believe that. And, or, or like, what? they can all protect themselves. Like, LSF would probably take your side. They'd see a victim with a credible story. why are you dismissing the fact Adri was not ready? Do you understand? Adrian and I were in constant communication, constant communication. She said, I am not ready. I am not mentally strong enough. She came to me. Mm -hmm. She was ready. She was going to release it. She, she said it was mentally strong enough. In this moment, that's when I clapped. Do you understand? This wasn't a moment of we were waiting and we were ready the entire year. She was not ready. It was about her. She made me aware she was ready. Do you understand? She found it appropriate. Okay, it I wasn't. It, it, it was. It wasn't appropriate. Even but, if she was ready, it wasn't appropriate this, at that time. She was wrong. This, right? It is not for you to make that call. It, 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 no, no, no. It hold hold on. It is not for you. It's, it's for her. It's no. It's first of all, that's not true. Okay. Um, it is true. It, it is true. When you talk about like when to take something public, just because she's ready to at a particular moment doesn't mean that is the best opportunity to do so. Number one. Okay. 
That is a ridiculous well, 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 that's thing ridiculous. That, that it should be her that's choice. Such a, only. It is her choice. It's not your choice, Destiny, uh, the, the knower of all. It is not. It is her choice of when to come out and when she feels comfortable and the most strong. It, okay, hold on. You're making, you're talking two different statements, okay? Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop. I'm just I, trying to I explain agree. the difference. It can be her okay. choice when to come out, but it's not her choice when the most appropriate time is or the most opportune time is. She can make the choice whenever she wants. That doesn't mean it's going to be the best choice to get the message heard by as many people in the best light possible. That's not for them to choose. No individual can choose that. That's like a contextual thing that's going to depend on other circumstances that are outside of your control. Okay. No individual can choose that except for you and your uh, yeah. uh, contextual understanding, correct? No, it's going, it be based on in, in the, it's going to be based the on the best opportunity. That's ridiculous. You never that's know ridiculous. what the best opportunity is. You, no, you don't. Hold on. <laughs> why, why are you speaking so hyperbole? You never know when the best opportunity is. That's correct, but you sure as fuck can know when some are better than others. That, and that was fine. There was a big spotlight on the, on the whole thing. There's a big spotlight yeah, on, and, on, on, on. Right. Yeah, but the spotlight moment, right now was on YouTube. In that, it's easy to make that statement. Exa in hindsight. Exactly. It's easy to make that statement in hindsight. But in that moment, it was the best time for her. And that's that. You, you can look back and say, oh, there were better times. Yeah, in hindsight, it's very easy to make that distinction, is it not? It's very easy to make that uh, 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 observation, right? No, but this isn't. That this moment, isn't. That was it's... the best possible one. What the fuck do you mean? I'm confused. It's very easy to look back and say, oh, that, there could have been better times. Hold on. Yeah. I'm, I, first of all, I'm totally independent from all of this, okay? I don't give a fuck one way or another who does what, okay? I'm just telling you. I'm not asking for your opinion, and, and I'm not asking for your perspective. I know your perspective. I understand your perspective. If you want me to explain it, I can explain it. I understand it 100%. All I'm telling okay. you is that from an outside perspective, that when the spotlight is shown on you two, and then you have a... The spot, so, that is a I mischaracterization. No on Hold on. Wait. Stop. Yeah. That is a mischaracterization of what was going on. The spotlight regarding the topic of gambling was on me every week for 16 months straight. Let's not make it seem like that was the one week it all came out. Uh, hold on. on. Do you remember there was a particular months. streamer that literally had this as an extra special spotlight? Of course there was. You had streamers Regarding talking about sports betting. That was not on no, me. No, you literally had scamming. bro. I was I'm listening to these conversations. You're trying to rewrite history like right in front of me. What are you rewrite talking about? History. Look, bro, the slicker just had his huge you, thing. Streamers are talking about going on fucking. Did strike. you watch my streams? Did I in any way respond or get involved? There was no spotlight on me. The spotlight is always on me. That's how I operate. I ignore and I stay in my own corner. You understand? If you look at me and I was distressed and I was firing shots back and forth and going at it, no. I made one statement saying okay, there is here's a wait here's a question. I'm gonna ask you I'm gonna ask you this question and I, I didn't I don't actually know because I didn't look, okay. but I bet I'm all right. I bet I'm correct, okay? Here's my guess. My guess is going to be that when the slicker stuff was going down and streamers were talking about banning gambling, I'm gonna make a guess. Did you tweet that day about streamer hypocrisy or in defense of types of gambling? You're not making a guess. That tweet happened in hindsight. No, the hold on. Betting? So so then while that happened, you did make that tweet, which means in a way you kind of did bring a spotlight on yourself because spotlights on gambling. You know this. Spotlight, Usually people attack you about I, it, right? Spotlight has been on me since day one. And they have said my name and only my name because they claim I'm the largest streamer. You understand? Don't make it seem like the spotlight shifted to me on that topic on that day. It's no, I agree. The spotlight is always on you. One, I agree. I agree. 100%. It's, it's any other day, whether I make a post or not make a post, I mm -hmm. talk about it. The spotlight didn't shift onto me. It's been on okay, me. It's, okay, the spotlight, the spotlight didn't shift on you. It just got really bright that day because of the slicker shit. Would you agree that there was more pressure for gambling that day than normal because of all the slicker stuff? That's all I'm saying. Would I agree there was more pressure on gambling? Sure. Was there more pressure on me? No. Well, why did you feel it necessary to come out and make tweets if there wasn't more pressure on you then? I Because that's my brand and what I do regarding everything, Destiny. Look at all of my tweets. Wait, hold I on. No, that doesn't make that answer. That's everyone. a not. You didn't even answer my question. <laughs> why did you feel it necessary to come out and make tweets if the spotlight wasn't brighter that day than normal? It wasn't brighter than normal. It was every other day for me. Every other day I make tweets. Look at my Twitter. Why are you only spot pointing out the one tweet that happened during one thing? Every time they make a, every time they make any, any accusation toward me, I respond. Over the last 16 months, scroll through, you will see gambling responses over the last 16 months con consistently and constantly. Mm -hmm. Don't make it seem like I only addressed one time. All of them I addressed for 16 months. Do you understand me? You could pull clips from my channel. Yeah, I, I believe all of you. It. I'm sure you did. I it know was, you're talking it, about it the It wasn't lot. a spotlight shift on that day. <laughs> the spotlight has been on me for 16 months. In 16 months, I've been clapping back. Do you understand? There, there was no, uh, uh, I needed to change. That is 
irrelevant. It is bullshit. Do you understand me? And that, sure. That's what I have an issue with. It's bad faith. It's it's. I understand. Don't to make call me. Hold on. Don't call me bad faith. I'm not. Okay. I'm not calling you. I'm saying it is bad. I'm faith. just saying. The, I'm just the, saying. The argument itself. No, I'm just saying that there is an outside perception. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to say that this is what happened uh, or that there was a plan or that, whatever. And that and that. But listen. But that outside perception, Destiny, is the same outside perception that has to make you understand you, you you can't pick and choose when the outside perception matters if the outside perception matters well the outside perception uh, always uh, matters just hear me out yeah so if it does then you need to understand the outside perception of why she may not feel mentally strong enough or mentally fortified enough to bring it out at different times that in that moment it's her decision if she feels the most mentally fortified that is the time that it happens do you understand like so, so if the outside perception, do you understand the outside perceptions applied to me making a tweet regarding what's going on the slicker stuff, which I am the largest gambling streamer, right? Mm -hmm. Well, be, besides XQC and Aiden and these other guys, but I'm in the section a lot longer, right? If the outside perception applies for that, when that topic's brought up, then the outside perception has to also apply to the, cons the consideration of the variables at play when deciding when to come out and when she feels mentally fortified enough to talk about what has happened in the past in terms of the cover-ups. Do you understand me? You can't pick and choose when the outside perception matters and what it affects. It would affect uh, the entire spectrum of everything going on and the variables that are at play that come down to the decision of when uh, she feels comfortable coming out with it. Does that make any sense? Stop asking me if it makes any sense. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> you're just explaining this. Anyway. I'm, just I'm just explaining how it looks from the Does outside. Does that make any sense? It's just how I usually end my uh, sentence. It's oh, just a okay. bad habit. Gotcha. I mean, well, you it's... know this. What do you mean? I've been, doing for five, I've been doing it for four years. Sure. Yeah. I'm just I'm just saying that there's like a strategy sometimes to um, exploring these things. And it's important to yeah, be aware but the of that. But the strategy is like, it, it's, it's, very, it's very easy to nitpick in hindsight and say there's a strategy of these things. There's a better time. Like, sure, in hindsight, I'm sure we can sit and say, okay, okay is there a better time? Is there a Stop accusing me of hindsight. I could see this coming from a million miles away. Everybody could. That it was going to be a little sussy based on the timing of everything. That's not a hindsight thing. Um, this is happening live. This was it, happening it, live. It, it, it shouldn't be sussy at all. If it's to anybody that it's sussy, in my opinion, excuses are being made. Do you think it was sussy deflection. when um, what was the House of Cards guy, Kevin Spacey? Do you think it was sussy when he came out as gay right after the accusations of uh, touching the kid or whatever? Did that change the consequence of his uh, of his actions? Uh, no, but he tried to. But like that would be an example so of people. Relevant, well, not? no, but that would be an example of somebody saying like, "Well, you should be able to come out anytime you want. It shouldn't matter if there's pressure." My, yeah, but in my opinion, that example would be a good example is if the actions changed, right? If the consequence of the actions changed, but it, the truth remained the same. Was well, it just because whether you're is, whether you're whether you're successful or not <laughs> doesn't influence whether or not you tried to be successful. Right. Trying. I think. I think at one point. I think the main thing that you're gonna. You can argue Disney about it all, all this as much as you want to. The reality is the public will villainize and will say that we will be weaponized. And there's nothing you do with defend ourselves. We just move on and that, that's about it. Yeah, even if you're not trying to. And I'm not, this is, again, I'm not trying to say you have the intention of doing this. So like your goal is to be malicious or blah, 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 whether it is or isn't. I'm just saying that that's going to be the perception. That's all I'm saying. Well, all I know is even Adrian's come out and clarified that and has made it clear not to come at me because that was never... It doesn't never... matter. Train it, train it. They don't, I know, they but, don't, but, but, they, they don't but, like I, you. They don't like you. That. They'll I, ruin yeah. you for it. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I understand that. Because but we're at the level they're... right now where these people are accusing you of Adrian of working together. So, of course, it wouldn't matter what she says. Well, right? then that's disgusting for them. That's the, It should be that clear. Like that, That's what should be covered. That that's what you should be cackling at uh, uh, and side smiling at. That's ridiculous, and you and I both know that perception should be irrelevant when something that disgusting is being thrown around. What? Also, also because of all this, in my opinion, because of how bad you and I look, and because of I, um, people are still um, being apologists for Miz, and I think his public image is coming back from the. There, people are being saying like, "Oh yeah, I don't think Miz what he did actually is actually wrong." I actually even definitely said that because you're, you're a moron. Um, and it's like, oh yeah, I don't think I did anything wrong either. It's it's just despicable to see it. So I, I'm I'm ready to move on. Yeah, and the problem and the problem with that, Destiny. Let's be honest. Here's what you do. If 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 anything like uh, excuses recording or anything came out and it went, oh well, now that I see this, it's not wrong. And you don't take any accountability for saying something so stupid. Whoa! Yeah, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right. He's right. He's right. No, right. Being so no. He's hold right. on, hold on. This you, is. You don't, said, you don't I don't think there's anything wrong. You don't know cringe. enough to make that statement, and you fucking know it. I agree. Let me know when you're done. Are you both done? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I said was, you. Are you familiar with how court works? 
When you go to court, you've got a jury of people that you have to show evidence to in order to let them make a decision about the consequences yes. of a particular thing. If yes, you're not, not going to work with chill, wait, public opinion. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Uh, okay. I, I, go all the way, go all the way, go all the way. Go yeah, all the way let go me all finish. Way. I'm going to start screaming over you, okay? You've, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm part of the jury of public opinion here, and I'm looking at what you're showing me, okay? Some mm -hmm. of the most important underpinnings of your case are things that you aren't showing to the public. Your claim that Ms. Kiff coordinated some event and sent Mitch and Maya and Barry over to the house. That's a claim that you've made, but you haven't given any evidence for that. Or you've made the claim that on a call, they were all trying to force you guys to delete tweets and cover things up. That's another huge claim that you've made, but you've shown no evidence for. If I'm part of the jury of public <laughs> opinion and somebody like Ms. Kiff is on trial and we're trying to figure out whether or not he's guilty or innocent, I can't go by evidence that you're telling me that exists that you haven't shown me. Okay. I've said, no, no, hold on, just let me finish. I've said multiple times, there are things that could change this. If what you're saying is real, if that piece of evidence is provided, if that thing is leaked, oh, then yeah, my opinion would change. Absolutely. But I can only go by what's shown right now. I'm not going to say a guy is guilty based on something that you're telling me exists when I haven't seen it yet. And I think most of the public's going to work that way. Okay. Destiny, yeah. as much as I agree with you, you already know, yeah. we are already being discredited at all points because we are we are um, weapon weaponizing mm -hmm. and be opportunist. You think that's it's saying more and leaking more, we're going to get some sort of backing? We also say this is, what, what, what are we talking about? You are, you are already against us, even when we have the truth. Even if we say more, like, uh, what, what are you talking about? And it proves, and this, this literally proves, to, like, wait, if me no. and XQC are getting bombed like this, this is exactly why she is scared to come out. XQC and I, with our size, are getting it twisted onto us. What do you think would happen to her at her size? Like, this is exactly why this shit is corrupt and fucked up. This is exactly why it is. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, trying, I'm genuinely, okay, wait, how old are you trying? 31, brother. Okay, I'm an older, I'm an elder to both of you, okay? 33, okay, yeah, okay, I'm very old. No, 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 let me say one time before you, you just... Okay, go ahead. The, the, the narrative is already that. Mm -hmm. We were against Miz, and we have, uh, we have, uh, we have problems with these guys, mm -hmm. and we want to get at them, right? And we're going to fuck them over. Mm -hmm. All the all these leaks that, that, that quote, unquote, uh, probably help the story, that mm -hmm. is already concluded, right? It's already concluded the story. That helps it. It only, it'll only look at attacks at Miz, attacks at Maya. At the, it'll all look like it's, it's more like attacks and weaponizing it, which is all we're being accused of, which is why things are being discredited. So imagine if we come out of the woodworks with these recordings or whatever, we'll just say, oh wait, this is already a case closed. They're just saying this to get, to get more points and to attack Miz even more, bro. And you know that's how it's gonna go. You know that's how it's gonna be spun. So why bother with that shit? What are you talking about? Okay. There's one thing that you both need to delete from your heads when it comes to dealing with the public, okay? You delete have to- from our heads. Yes. You You're talking to the two largest streamers that deal with the public on a uphill scale why are you giving us advice regarding this destiny if anyone because this is my hold on because this is my job and i do it way better than both of you okay chill no, hold on not, this is literally what true. i bro train you you fight with people all the time and have a ton of drama related to this shit this is literally my no, job okay I, yes no i do not yes you do lane. of course you do train come on in the last three years none of that i've stayed my own fucking lane you clearly do not know Okay, so you're telling me that in the history of the Scuffed podcast with all the, with the, Trey Chat, with enough. all the other people, of course. Yeah. I'm not making fun of you, fun. I'm course. just saying that you fight with a ton of people. So do I. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes, I do. And has everything. Go ahead. Did you just okay. finish your point? Then I'll, I'll bring my point up. Sure. Okay. Jesus Christ. All I'm telling you guys is that when you are trying to, when you're making an argument, you have to delete yeah. from your head this concept of the truth. Okay? The truth doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is not relevant. What matters is what can you prove? What can you support? If two things happen in a room and, and neither person records evidence and both people walk out of the room, at the end of the day, the only thing you have is one person's word against another. The truth or the fact of the matter is not relevant in the eye of the public. What matters is what you can prove. So when you're coming out and you're having these arguments related to, it could be sexual assault allegations, it could be leaked DMs, it could be whatever, the only thing that matters at the end of the day is what you have evidence for and what you can prove. So if you're getting frustrated because in your mind you think people don't know the truth and I believe in the truth, you need to rework your mind and stop thinking of it in terms of the truth. Think of it in terms of what has evidence been provided for. And right now, no evidence has been provided that Ms. Kiff was like a mastermind blackmailer collaborator. That just hasn't been provided. Now that might exist, but you haven't shown it. So how is anybody supposed to believe you? Um, I, I think, I, wait, what are you talking about? I think all the, all the stories all, all playing at it, like, uh, black and white. I think, how is like six witnesses or whatever the fuck, not enough. To do. You're, no, no, Hold on, wait, right. wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 let X expand on that. Give me one witness that said that Miz told people to go over and make a story. Wait, well, I'm pretty sure Maya said that she was sent. Yep. 
Did they say they were sent by Ms. Kiff to help her make a story? We can look, we can go and listen to Maya's statement if you want. I want to ask. I want to yeah. ask you this. I want to ask you this. So you're telling me, okay, the best friend of an individual that sends over two individuals to the house of the person that's about to make the tweet Real of the accusation, the best friend that sends them over, you think that's fucking appropriate? And you think that that, that is completely okay that, you, that that two people were sent by an individual that is best friends with the uh, 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 the, the person being accused? That's just the yeah. first step. The next step is everyone's accounts. And I'm sure Mitch, Barry, and whoever, or I guess Mitch is the only person there, when he, if he has to do what he has to do, right? I'm sure he'll give the account of what he saw and what he heard. So the, the evidence you're looking for realistically comes from either Maya or Mitch, right? That's what you're looking for? Probably Maya, Mitch, or Barry. No, Barry wasn't at the original house where Miss Giff was, right? Barry was... Well, I, my, when, Maya, when Maya was giving the story, she said that, my, that her, Mitch, and Barry were the three that went over. Yeah, but Barry didn't go over from Miss Giff's house. Barry yeah. went over and okay, met well, up I don't with know, them. But, okay, sorry. Th those are the three that she brought up. But um, <clears throat> you're... Jen, here, here's, I, this, is, this is all I'm saying, okay? Is that, like, Miss Giff can tell a story, and you can tell a story, and both stories are possible. Without evidence pointing one way or the other, there's no reason for somebody to believe your story over somebody else's. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that a, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a mischaracterization yeah, he, of events. What do you yeah, mean? The story, the story was told. Adriana told the story, right? Adriana doesn't things, know. Wait, hold on. She doesn't know why they were sent yeah, over. Or if I know. They were, what like, I'm saying is Adriana told a story, and that the parts of those story were corroborated by the story given by the others that do know. We're not talking about Adri's story right now, though. We're talking about things that are outside of what she can give testimony to. She can't give testimony to whether Ms. Kiff sent Maya and Mitch on a mission to rewrite those uh, stations. He did. Okay, well, do you bring it up. We can watch it if you want. Why? Well, no, no, no. Because if I, the, the fact of reality is, you don't, you know how the public operates. You know they know the story's over and closed, and the victim is happy. Anything that we say or leak or or prove will look at like. Attacks and we're presenting an old case of a victim against people we don't like and will be completely shit on and we're gonna get smoked or and is it oh yeah now we can see why they did this in the first place because look now they're going after them. It has you to be know the, the it's gonna be this. like this. I, yeah, is, okay, yeah, I'll bring up this. This is the example I bring up. Okay, no, hold on. Just real quick, real quick, real quick. Don't, right, wait, I hate it that you're what, trying to explain what, to me because what, I know this is my life. I don't need you to explain it to me, okay? I'm not I'm not explaining anything to you. I'm what I'm telling you is what you're looking for has to then come from Mitch, right? Which then would also be corroborated by the recording of the group call. That's it. Right? Possibly, what maybe, yeah. For, what, what, what I'm no, saying what is looking, it... What you're looking for doesn't come from your XQC. It comes from Mitch or the people that are in question that were at the house. It has to come from them and then maybe corroborated by a recording. Right? That is it. It can't come from me or XQC. You know yeah. this. Everyone knows this. It would have to come from Mitch, Maya, yeah. Miskip himself. Sure, but that's not, that's not what I'm having an issue with right now. The, the issue that I have is the attitude that you Don't, and... No, just, I gotta, I'm going to just right. go, okay? When I was doing my, you guys, okay, you guys are under the impression that the public doesn't look at any evidence whatsoever and they only go by narratives. That is not true. It feels that way sometimes, but the reason is because you're not laying out hard evidence to support the narrative that you're trying to sell. And the other narrative is just as likely as yours. We're so in that case, hold, stop, you're always selling a narrative. That doesn't mean it's fake. No, we're yeah, not stop. selling a narrative. Let me finish speaking, okay? Selling a narrative doesn't mean you're making something up. A narrative is just a story to tie together facts. That's what a narrative is. A narrative isn't always a bad thing. It's not always fake. There is the main story narrative around 9-11. Okay. Thank it you for make... clarifying. Okay, Thank you, you for clarifying. Okay, yeah, I got you. Okay. So, when, so there was a time when I went into a back and forth against Bob Seven and a ton of other people. And I released a statement. He released a statement and he blew me the f*** up. And all of LSF was against me. And then I went online and I did a stream. And I fumbled my way through it because I didn't have all of my ducks in a row before I did it. And then it was super against me. All, a lot of big streamers were. Casey Trunk, all these losers came out. And all of LSF was against me. But I took a night. I got all of my shit together. And even though everybody was 100% against me. And I looked like an eating in front of everybody. When I came back with all of my shit in a line. And then I read out all of my evidence. I flipped it 180. And I've been in those situations before. Where if you try to fumble your way through something. But you don't have your evidence. The narrative is against you. And it feels like people. False equivalency. False equivalency. Okay. Nothing okay. you say, this Matt. In that case, don't ever go public with anything ever. Because if all you guys think are just public narratives exist. You can't do anything. Then don't even try. I don't even know why you would try to talk to anybody that's, ever. That a that's Destiny, a false that's, that's you that against bad them. Bad. For us, the, the case is over. If, if, if we were to say that this, this now. Okay. It would be us against Miz or whatever. Literally. 
How, how do you know there's tennis? If you, here, you wanna do this? I'll bet both of you, okay? $10,000 each, if you wanna do this, okay? If $10,000, you... bro, I lost- No, 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 no. hold on, I don't care. Okay. 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 I'm not gonna today, bet bro. you a million dollars because I'm not a million dollar Andy, okay? I'll bet you 10,000 each if you want. If you guys come out and you release evidence, good solid evidence that Ms. Kiff coordinated Barry or at least Mitch and Maya to go over and to soften Adri's story to save Slick and that and that on that call that you guys were on that people were begging you to delete a twit longer or to delete shit to save Slick if you came out with that hard evidence the public favor would spin 180 and support you again if you think anything else you're delusional if you think that they can just write narratives out of nothing you're totally wrong if you have hard evidence for that the public will support you 100% I know guaranteed that, that's don't you think it's disgusting that we're looking for support? I don't, I don't need support no, from the public. No, bro. That's ridiculous. It's, no, you do. Especially over this Me Too shit. This is some of the most damaging shit about this whole fucking movement is that people think they don't need evidence as long as the truth is on their side. There is no such thing as the truth. It's only what I'm, you can prove. I'm not, ref I'm not referring to that. I'm referring that you've, you're spitting this into a me and XQC need to do something so we get the public on our side. That's the most ridiculous thing. This entire thing was brought up to platform Adriana to tell her truth and she told her truth, you understand? As far as what you need to hear, that will come from Mitch Jones, that will come from uh, uh, Maya or Miz or a leaked in a video between six people. That is where Adri's truth you, doesn't matter here. That's okay. That's All fine. Adri you, knows. You're looking for me and XQC no. to battle the public to try and give them something. It that comes from Mitch Jones, Maya, Ms. Kiff, or it comes from a corroborated. Or sorry, it comes from the corroboration of the uh, leaked recording of a six-man call. That's where it comes from. It doesn't come from me and XQC battling. Sure, it. You you're missing the point of what I'm saying. I'm just saying things. Adri's truth has to do with her interaction with Slick and the feelings that she had afterwards with how people dealt with her. But your claims, the original it tweet that you made about rail, no, no. It, also, it the, also comes from what she said about the ongoing one year of everything regarding the control and the power and the railroading that was happening within that community and the circles of these people. Sure, but, what, but that's not, that wasn't, you, no, no, because that's not what we're talking about. You made but a tweet that, that said that Miz was sending people story. to railroad people. That's your yes, claim. That, that's not Adri's no, that's not, claim. That's, that's, that's your claim. claim. That, that is that's, that's, no, that's the claim that was given to me by the people who were involved. No, no, you, you brought it out publicly, so it's your claim. That's the sword yeah. that you fall on or you attack people. Yes, you brought it, it out publicly, my, so as long as you brought it out. claim, but that claim is from the people involved. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. You're the one representing it. You're the one that has it. So now it's your claim. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I am behind that claim, but what, what you're saying can be easily attacked by saying, "Well, train wasn't even there." Do you understand me? Yeah, but I, I you am, might make you might believe relaying. that particular claim because you've heard of other am, people. But if you're relaying it for people, then bring those people out and make them yeah, put them and on that's the what stand. I'm telling you, that's what I'm sure, telling but right, you. Do you I understand? You hold that, on, have you, hold on. Have you ever heard of? Do you know something called hearsay? Have you ever heard that before? Yes. Okay, so the reason why hearsay is bad in a court of law is because if I'm going to cross-examine a witness, if I'm going to put you on the stand, I'm going to ask you questions to figure out if you really know what the f*** you're talking about if you're full of shit. However, when you say something like, oh, um, X, Y, and Z told me this, the reason why the judge will dismiss that as hearsay is because I don't care what they're saying, what other people are saying, because I can't put them under oath and cross-examine them. So when you tell me, well, other people said this, I don't care what other people said. I care what you say. Because if other people aren't willing to stand up in public or stand up and be cross-examined as a witness or as for testimony or whatever, then it doesn't matter what they say. They can say anything. Their reputations aren't on the line. Their word isn't on the line. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to say whether or not you're right or wrong. I'm just telling yes, you why like people me, publicly are looking at one, things. Sure. Yeah, I understand. Give me one second. I need to... I don't know. You're gonna go I don't know if you have Twitter or not. Can somebody... This guy is literally impersonating me on Twitter with a verified account and literally selling phishing scams. <laughs> oh, I, I know uh, I know uh, Twitter contacts. I mean, Holy so you see his fuck. Here. You know, Jesus fucking, like, how is this even allowed? Spam report him. You know what? One of the, one of the most valuable thing ever. Yeah. I had this um, uh, Overwatch League uh, media day one time. Mm -hmm. And because Overwatch was so big at the time, or they thought it was going to be big, they had a bunch of like, High ups at like a lot of companies. We did, we had a, a a talk with like a presentation with like high ups at a Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Mm -hmm. And they actually gave me their contacts, and it's been kind of useful actually. For Twitter stuff. Yeah, for just getting stuff going, getting uh, like like uh, you know just getting verified, getting a contact, getting answers, getting shit. Oh done, yeah, for a lot of that shit, unfortunately, as silly as it sounds, it's like it comes down to like just knowing the right people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. and yeah, we had like three of them over there, right there on the spot. So, 
So I, I need to repost this and put the at. What's the ad of this thing? That's just shameless, bro. How is this person even allowed? Oh my god. I fucked up the fucking tweet again. Just shameless of me. Give me a second here. This is crazy, brother. This is, Do you I see this destiny? I cannot imagine being Ivy League exec and having worked hard and having up the meeting with XUC to feel like you wasted your time. Bro, we move fucking, dude, dozens <laughs> of millions of fucking dollars. If that's a waste of your time, bro, bro, you are a fucking homeless. You're at the fucking public library, you broke motherfucker. You move a fucking tens that a pop for fucking cigarettes, you dumb fuck. Shut the fuck up! True. So how you guys feeling today? How you doing? I'm chilling. Oh, that's good. Bro, can you believe this? Hmm. It's probably this like fucking... a botted scammer account. That'd be my guess, right? Yeah, but how the fuck's it verified? Because people pay for money like that. There's like services or back websites where you can pay people that know people at Twitter that'll get like an account verified and shit pretty quickly. Jesus fucking Christ. Literally phishing scam links. It's just so fucked. With my entire brand on it. That's just shameless. It's pretty fucked. Yo, I'm going to type something to you, Destiny. Yeah, go for it. Uh, don't say it out loud for now. <laughs> okay. I mean, imagine if you're typing it to me. It's because you don't want me to say it out loud. So, yeah, I gotcha. Okay. I was just t typing this guy. Look, look at that. What what is this? So I just bought myself that. Oh, is it? I don't know anything about jewelry. I'm assuming it's nice. It's Did you read that dust? I read it's, it. Yeah. It's just a chain, bro. Well, it's cool. Good job. I'm proud of you. Set. I'm not saying out loud until the second uh, sentence comes to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> mm -hmm. it's. I'm telling you, it goes deep. No, I understand, and I'm, <laughs> there's a lot of dumb shit being running around behind the scenes right now. This is what I would suggest to you, okay? Take it or leave it. I don't care. I really don't, okay? If you want to present stories like this, my recommendation, people make fun of me because I call them like manifestos or whatever, but it's it's really effective to write everything down and to get all of your evidence in one place so that you have everything ready to go so that if an accusation or some crazy shit like this goes public, all you can do is like read out all of your shit and everybody has all the information there that they can deal with. But like when stuff gets leaked like piece by piece or some stuff doesn't add up exactly or you're trying to figure like, you know, who to talk to when or whatever, like it just it ends up like undermining your whole story, which does a disservice to you if you are telling the truth. That's all I would say. Just pretend that whenever you're oh. presenting something, pretend that you're trying to like present this to like a normie who has no idea what's going on. Don't assume anybody knows anything. Explain this guy knows this person. These people are friends. They do this and blah, blah, blah. It's always like the better way to go about things, I would say. Do you guys think are you guys? Um, are you guys pretty done with this, or do you think um, you're gonna try to like go more on it, or? Well, no, what about the gambling? About the, gambling? About the well, well, no, about all the everything that just happened, like the. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um, nah, uh, I think I think the rest is gonna come down. The... Yeah, I think um, just just probably gonna leave this up anonymously, so people don't think that it's us coming at them or whatever, so it doesn't lose credit. Hope about it. I would just well, be, uh, you can't if, say that if you wanted to. I was gonna say if you're gonna if you if you want to keep. Well, talk well, I, well I, I want some credit, just not all of it. That's all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's fucked. Nice. <laughs> if you're uh, if you're gonna keep like going in on this, because obviously like Reddit is gonna keep this going for like however many days they can. Just make sure that if you're gonna say anything, you've got like all your shit like super prepared or whatever, because people are gonna be dissecting like every fucking word, um, especially in regards to like calls or anything. So. Yeah, but there's nothing I prepared. Are you asking me to? Uh, are you asking me to find the person that recorded it and and have them edit the clip and make sure it sounds right? Like there's nothing I prepared. Like either the thing gets, either whoever recorded it uh, releases it or they don't. There's no preparing anything. Right? I'm just saying that like just be ready to know what you're gonna say for everything, okay? Because I don't say anything. You just, there's you nothing just to say. We, yeah, we don't need to say, say anything. We're not. You okay. click a button and it's over. Sure. Like, what? I was right. just the platform for Adriana. I wasn't. There's nothing to say. I wasn't there. Okay. Destiny, this guy loves the drama or some shit. I'm tr I'm literally trying to. You know what? Don't do anything. Don't prepare anything. Just go off the cuff so that I can have 52 million more clips trying to interpret your open-ended 
statements and then I get 50 million more upvotes already. If you want to do that, you can do that, okay? I'm just trying to help you. Jesus. Okay. Make your own then make your own fucking drama, dude. The only reason why you hang out with Sneeko is that you think he's gonna hit something stupid on the stream if I use it for drama, you dumb f The only reason why you any any of this shit, you use it for content. You fucking milking snake angry motherfucker. Okay? Stop acting stop making paying us for fucking making drama. This is your only content. F you. Are you okay? okay? I'm not okay, what's up, man? If I want to milk you for content, I would just bring both of you on and suck up to you the entire fing time. You guys have huge not audiences, true, of course. Not true, what do you not mean not true. true? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Okay? okay, tell me why. You gain more from the people that dislike us than from people that like us. The people that like us, you can't even fucking get. They'll come for a second and they'll leave the next second. They don't care about that. The ones that don't like us are the ones you want to cater to. It's the same story with all the rest. Okay. It's the ones that don't like us. It's the, listen, the, the people that are, are upvoting you on Reddit that you just brought up, those are the ones that like us. Those are the ones that don't like us. Do you understand? That's where you're getting the upvotes. Train. Right now, I have 19,000 viewers, okay? When this drama settles down one or two weeks from now, my viewership is going to be back to normal. Yeah, exactly well, what it was be before. Irrelevant. No, no, oh, no, no. I'm just, hold on. I'm just telling you. I don't grow permanently off of this, okay? I have viewers right now for drama, and then my shit will go away. Like, having you two on my good side and bringing you on and sucking you up to you to, so that I get your offline chats watching me shit, that would be a way that I could grow my shit. Like, no, you can't accuse me of like, oh, do you think I'm getting is. viewers That's from Mizkiff or Pokey? You think those people are going to watch me and word Andy? Meth smoker Andy? Ones that want me and XQC bro, to be wrong that, and villains. I yes, Bro, I lost are. that, that audience. That's Hassan's audience now. Those people True. call me lib. They hate me. I'm never getting those viewers, bro. That ship sells. Well, bro, the, I can't even. catering to. I can't so even you, stream you with Lily, that. bro. Tell when I stream with when I stream with Lily, I don't have that. to tell myself. I'm not on some huge yes, coke you. train like you are. When I stream with I'm Lily, she gets negative comments on her Twitter and YouTube and in her DMs just for being on stream with me. Okay, that audience has sailed so long ago. If you think I'm trying to cater to that audience, Lily's you're audience, delusional. Lily's audience isn't the audience that I'm saying you're catering to. Do you understand the Reddit audience that's looking for holes and inconsistencies to try and uh, 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 prove someone that's not innocent innocent? Those are the ones you're being, you're catering to. Not the Lily's Reddit audience. audience. The audience on another fellow f***ing SJW subreddit. This guy doesn't even up. get this you, guy. You just brought that up. You brought the, up the upvotes that you get. Did you not? Yeah, because I'm, I'm I can get some temporary favor on LSF, but I don't build a platform from there. Yeah, so you think about that personally. You think about, okay, is what I'm saying truly the truth? Is this right? Or am I just doing it for the f***ing upvotes of it? That's ridiculous. What? Am, what? Do you... That's my opinion. Okay. You're, hey, you we'll are... disagree, baby. You're, you're looking for a yes man, okay? If you want that, you can find that for people. But that's... I'm never going to be the yes I, man for you, okay? That's, I not what I, that's not what I do here, okay? I've been very fair for all points of time. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. This, I'm giving you advice yes that man. if you want to destroy need... the people that are fighting you, this is the evidence you need. I'm just being frank with you, okay? I don't want to destroy anybody. Okay. Don't turn this on to me destroying anybody. I don't want to destroy anybody. Second of all, I don't need yes men. Don't fucking back with a pussy-ass cop-out argument. I want yes men. You damn well know I don't need yes men. I never have wanted yes men. I've been alone on the f***ing platform for years. Okay, alone, then don't call alone. me a suck up drama farmer Andy because I I'm react to shit that's going on on f***ing LSF. You're finding, you finding any stretched f***ing holes you can find because it's giving you those upvotes and attention and you know damn well it's not going to stick and that's why you need to think very Bro. carefully what, what doubt you're putting in, what doubt you're putting in and what dissent you're putting in to others for the goddamn temporary upvotes of it. That's what I'm telling you to think about. Dude, I was banned from LSF for like two I don't years give a fuck. for I don't spoiling give a fuck. Game of I don't Thrones. Care. You I are you are a projection Andy right now. I don't give a f about what LSF thinks you about me or the upvotes or downvotes on that sub. Can't you wanna know why I, you don't see I'm a projection? I haven't gone on LSF for three years. I don't give a fuck about Then them. how do you know you I'm care. getting upvotes on threads or anything? You how do you it. You said it! You, yeah, because you guys you are talking about me it. drama farming. But you don't know if I'm getting you upvotes or not. You obviously go on LSF. Come on. I do not go in LSF. My entire community knows that. I know that. I never bring it up. I don't go and rant about it. I stopped years ago. Do you understand me? I have never even ranted about that shit because I don't give a fuck. Okay. I, that was the best decision I've made, and I've, I am I'll way be, I'm, happier. I'll be more... My I'm, sorry for, I'm sorry for being so critical. Next time I'll... It's okay. No, no. It's not about critical. It's not about critical. You know damn well what's going on. I'm no! Fine. Stop! Hold on. You got to stop that, dude. I, dude, I am the most blunt mother on this understand. platform. I'm 10 times more blunt than you about everything. Thing. No, yeah, I not. absolutely am. I absolutely no, am. You can't, dude. In your I am political the... topics. You are no yes. on every fucking topic, dude. No, are you serious? You're no, you're not. Are you, dude? You play the game just as much as everybody else I here when it comes to like associating with people. Come I on. Do not play the game. I listen. You, you don't watch my streams clearly. I don't play the game. I go live and I do me and I I literally say what I'm doing. Sure, you but you me? know you're friends not... with people behind the scenes. You got you know a lot of the gossip and shit oh, behind the scenes. Like you I do shit. You don't, listen, you don't even know who I, listen, I don't inter, you clearly don't watch my streams, you don't know.
I have removed myself completely, Destiny. You're remembering the train bef went before you were banned. I have removed myself from all of them. Do you understand me? All of them long ago. If you removed yourself from everything long ago, why did you tweet anything when the Gamma shit came up at all? Because they still call my chat and I was referring to that. I see it on Twitter. What do you mean? I okay, so you've disengaged from, my... from, from LSF, you've disengaged from other streamers, but Twitter is the platform that you're reading now. And that's what saw you got, and you got triggered. When I'm getting ads, yeah, I respond to the ads. How are you equating Twitter to live stream fail and hanging out with people on events and behind the scenes? How are you equating Twitter to that? I, 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 I don't believe you. I don't believe you're getting triggered by Twitter ads. There's no way. Twitter ads? I'm a, uh, from Twitter, Twitter ads, from people adding you on Twitter. Why wouldn't you just yes. ignore, if you've ignored LSF and everything else, why don't you just ignore Twitter ads? Why would you care? Because the general consensus is wrong and it's corruption and inconsistency that's being spewed on Twitter. Reddit is a popularity contest. Twitter is relaying information that has been pumped in by these dumbasses that is wrong. Do you understand? And I make a tweet that makes it clear. Do you understand me? That, that's what my Twitter is. Twitter is connected to my stream. Whatever I rant on my stream, I rant on Twitter. It's very simple. I haven't been rant. My response to the Slicker thing wasn't on Twitter because it happened on Twitter. I respond, everything I respond on stream, I respond to on Twitter. But I, I do not go on Reddit. I do not go on Livestream Fail. I do not hang out with these people. Do you understand? I'm in my own circle. I do my own fucking thing. It's that simple. It's okay. that simple. Even XUC, when XUC and I uh, hop on a call together, it's very, sure. very... I, 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 under, I understand what you're telling me. We just... The, the way that you use these words is just way different than me. So it's hard for me to understand sometimes. Like, okay. when you say, no, like, we, we run in our own circles, like, I run in my own circle. Like, you were on a call yesterday with, like, 10 of the biggest streamers on Twitch, right? So, like, I typically am not involved with, like, I the... I was in that with call for yeah. obvious reasons. I don't talk to these people. The only person I talk to, and that's totally outside of Twitch, is Asmongold once in a while. That's because him and I have been friends for fucking six years. More than that, eight years. XQC... And that's it out of that call. And then Mitch and I are uh, uh, somewhat <laughs> close in terms of things like that. But is Mitch, in the, is Mitch some large streamer that's in there? No. Mitch doesn't count as a large streamer? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Okay. Not the way you used it, at least. Can't Mitch turn a stream on and get like 15,000 plus viewers if he wants to? He has to get girls and drama going for that. And then after that, he turns on a game and he gets mauled. Sure, so once he know. starts gaming, he does, yeah. The point is this: I don't think I don't think you uh, tune in often, which uh, you know you don't. It's it not about just what happens different... on your streams. I'm just saying that like you're still like pretty involved and connected with people at Twitch. It's not a bad thing. I am I I know, but I am not. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The okay. circle I hang out with is closer to Tifu and Nick Merckx. It's outside of drama. It's outside of that. Do you understand? I ignore it. Everything that's come at me, I ignore. Once in a while, I'll say something on Twitter when it's just muddying of waters and it's just disinformation being pumped in. Do you understand me? When it's purposeful, intentional, wrong information being pumped in to run a smear campaign or run a narrative, that's when I'll make a tw tweet about it or I'll say something on my stream. But I ignore it all for the most part. Do you understand me? Who I hang out with is void of all of that. I literally tell my stream is to ignore everything. Okay. If that's what you say. I'm telling you. I just, I, like, when you say that, like, I'm trying to play for viewers, like, um, from... Pokemon and Mizkif, um, and then in the next sentence you say, you must not watch my streams. Like, it's pretty obvious that you have no idea what I'm doing on my corner of the internet either, if you think that's the audience that I'm trying to win over. that a bad thing? We all do it one, one, one way or another in small parts or capacity. It's not a fucking problem. It's only a problem. No, mate, you might. No, bad. hold on. No. Hold on. No, I don't play for those audiences, period, because I can't. One, I'm on fucking YouTube. A lot of those people will never even turn on a YouTube stream. And two, I've already got, like, so much exposure to those audiences that if they wanted to watch me, they would be. Like, all of Ms. Kid's audience knows who I am because I've been on a stream a few times and I'm covered in some drama. If they were going to watch me, they would do it. Me, like, being on Ms. Kid's good side doesn't change that. Which is fine also, but I will, like, I will, like, quote-unquote farm. If there's, like, drama, I'm going to watch it and comment over it, of course. But, like, the but, implication that I'm, like, changing my opinion or I'm trying to cater to somebody is just, like, I've been banned from too many things, lost too many accounts, like, burned too many mm -hmm. bridges to ever get accused of that from, like, yeah, that's, no. That's all I'm okay. saying. Oh. Okay, sure. Yeah, me too. That's how I feel. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, I'm so fucking... True. All I'm saying is, 
the same thing that you were uh, laughing about when you were guiding uh, XUC through the Hassan debate, right? Yeah. Just keep just keep that in mind, right? At the very least, if you don't know, then you stay silent. The fact that you're kind of wait, hold on, keep doubt, what in mind? You're putting in doubt off of like, it. Just it's very odd to me. It's very. I'm very not odd putting in doubt. You just think okay. I am because you're disconnected. I'm telling you where the doubt is. Okay. Whether or not you well, want to listen to me, you don't have to. Okay. That's fine. If you don't yeah, want to, that's were, fine. But like, no, no, I I am listening. Okay. Just telling okay. you, this is how people. This is why people doubt parts of stories. If you want to fix that, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. to fucking who cares? Like, it's, at the end well, of the day, not, like in, in three it's, days, it's, everybody's it's moved not, on from this anyway. Like, yeah, it's not for me to fix. It's for Mitch to say what he needs to say, Maya or Miskiff, and for you know, true. That is true. That, yeah. and for that call that you know XG talks about, if that comes out right, that's that's it. That's it, and, and that would need to cor corroborate Mitch, Maya, or Miskiff's uh, account, right? It's that simple. True.